Hi, in this tutorial for uh, Total Beginners in 3D Studio Max, we will continue with the array tool. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video and never used the array tool before, please watch that uh, video first and then you can watch this one here. Uh, in that video, we learned about the array tool. We used uh, the features, all the features. Uh, but in that video, we, we used um, each mode separately, the uh, uh, positional array um, where we can create copies based on a certain offset and the X, Y and Z and the uh, polar array and the scaling array. In this uh, video we will try to create something like this, similar to this and we will use uh, a combination of two modes, the polar array and the scaling array. So, uh, let's start from scratch. Okay, let's create a circle. Let's say with a radius of uh, 20 centimeters. For the smoothness, we can go to interpolation and increase the number of straight segments that make up the circle. Or you can just uh, click adaptive and uh, uh, some algorithm under the hood will uh, give you the uh, maximum uh, smoothness possible. Um, so now while the circle is selected, click the array tool. Now, let's say that uh, each copy is bigger than the previous one by 10%. So here in the X, Y, and Z, you can put 110 and the three axes to make the scaling uniform. Or you can just click uniform. These uh, Y and Z will be grayed out. You just need to change one of the change this one. Let's say 110. The all others will change. Now. By default, I have 10 copies. Click Preview, and you, you will get this. Now, each copy is bigger than the previous one by 10%. Now, in the x-axis, I want to rotate each copy uh, by a certain angle. So here in the x-axis, I can put, let's say, uh, 5 degrees and then click preview, we will get this. I will increase the number of copies. You can just play around with these settings until you are satisfied with the results. Now I will keep them instances. Click OK. Now, because they are instances, I can go to rendering, click enable in viewport and enable in renderer enable in viewport will make you see the thickness in the viewport enable in render will help will allow you to render uh, these uh, this uh, these shapes because by default uh, 2d shapes uh, they uh, they cannot be rendered here in the thickness i will lower the uh, amount to one centimeter uh, you notice that uh, not all of them are one centimeter. Now the first one is one one centimeter, but because we are using scaling, each copy, for example, this one is ten percent scaled up relative to this one, so it's uh, ten percent more in the thick uh, thickness. If you right, if you select one of them and right click the scale you will see that this is 146% relative to its original uh, scale, which is this one. If you, don't want that, if you don't want this to happen, um, you can just uh, select everything, go to Utilities and click Reset X-Form and uh, Reset 
selected. Now, if you look, if you look into any one of them, any one of those, you'll see that it's 100%. So now for max, uh, no scaling is happening. So now, if I go to uh, <coughs> circle, enable and render, enable and viewport, all of them will have the same thickness, which is the number that you see here. Okay, let's go back to the original circle array. Again, keep the 110%. <coughs> I will make the x 0. Now I can use this feature here. We learned about this in the uh, first um, video for array. Here you can choose an angle to fill. For example, if you know that the last the last element is rotated uh, by let's say 70 let's say 80 degrees or let, let's put 70 so here you are choosing the angle to fill max will take this number will divide it by this number to calculate the angle of each copy. So you can start with the angle to fill if you know the last one, uh, which angle it, will, it should have. And for, for the other things, it's the same procedure we saw before. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please Press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next video. Thank you.